I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. deal with Silent Hill anyway. It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car's sick. No. I'm just trying to remember my childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. Father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. was his very own daughter. Even though 
he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you tell you how happy you made me. I'm gonna head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. You got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50 something years old. I never see nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger.
Hello? Claudia. No, I'm not... Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry, but... She... She killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal?
Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear, oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday dear, who are you, happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday! Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! But you're wrong. It's not my birthday.
Finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Well, I guess it's time to dispose of her. The salvation of all mankind. Ha! Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful. But first, one must be chosen. Only we, who hearken to the voice of God, will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so, Peter? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and think whatever you want. What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't 
play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine! I was appointed by God to be its guardian! The only thing you'll get from me is a gruesome death. Person here a mental case? Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? What's this? Did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you, and kicked you, and made you cry. The memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith? is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do.
Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? <laughs> That's where Claudia is. Across the lake, on the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far, mm, but closer than heaven. Is that it for the message? Uh-huh. Thanks. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me?
to find the girl. And you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped for you. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him, deceived, because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when Alessa, mother of God, truly awakens... Yeah? What's going to happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain. No hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise? For castrated sheep, maybe. Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you.